Hi, in this video we'll be talking about the precedence of operators. Some operators are more important than others, at least in terms of precedence. Here we have all the operators from highest to lowest precedence. The topmost in the hierarchy are the parentheses. So what is in the parentheses is the most important. Then we have exponentiation. Then we have complement, unary plus and unary minus. These three are at the same level in the hierarchy. Then we have multiplication, true division, floor division and modulus. Again, these four are at the same rank in the hierarchy. Then we have addition and subtraction, ranking the same. Then right bitwise shift and left bitwise shift at the same position too. Then we have bitwise AND, then bitwise exclusive OR, XOR, then bitwise OR. Then we have the comparison operators, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. Then we have equal to and not equal to. These two are at the same position in the hierarchy. Then we have the assignment operators, equals, plus equals, minus equals, times equals, divided by equals, with true division and floor division, modulus equals and exponentiation equals. Then we have the identity operators is and is not at the same position in the hierarchy. Then we have the two membership operators in and not in. Again, these two are the same rank in the hierarchy. Then we have logical not, then logical and, and finally logical or. Operators with higher precedence work first. So have a look. 7 plus 3 times 2. In this example, 3 and 2 are multiplied and then the product is added to 7. This is because multiplication is higher in precedence than addition. So we should have 3 times 2 is 6. 7 plus 6 equals 13. That's right. And now a totally different example. Have a look at this. Enter, we get false. Now let's analyze it step by step. Of all the operators, the exponentiation over here is the one with the highest precedence. So it's carried out first. So now we have the result of this is 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So this is what you get at this point. Now the next in the hierarchy is the unary minus over here. So we have a negative 1 over here. Negative 1. Then we have multiplication, true division, floor division and modulus. All the same level in the hierarchy. So they are used in the order of appearance. Multiplication, modulus, floor division, true division. In this order, 9, 5 times equals 45. 45 modulus 2 equals 1. 1 divided by 4 using floor division is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So this is equal to 0. Now this side is equal to negative 1 times 2, so negative 2. Now you can see that this is false, and hence this result over here. Now it is extremely easy to lose track of what's going on and in which order with such complicated expressions like this. That's why we should use parentheses as much as possible. They're the highest in the precedence hierarchy. It's advisable to use them even if it's not necessary, just to make it clear. Here are a few expressions with parentheses in different places. The result is different each time because the operators are applied according to the placement of the parentheses. So here is our example. 5 plus 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3. Here we have no parentheses at all. So the result is 7.666 and so on, right? So here this is carried out first, then we have division, and then we have addition. But let's suppose we 
have some parentheses over here. Now this will cause this part to be executed first. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So now we have 5 plus 2 to the power of 1. So 5 plus 2, which is 7. And of course we get a float number, because with true division we always get a float number. And now let's move the parentheses from here to here. Opening and closing. Now all this part is calculated first. So 5 plus 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. 13 divided by 3 equals 4.33 and so on. Finally, let's use the parentheses like so. Here and here. Now, these two are calculated first, so we get 7 to the power of 1, which again is 7. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.